Welcome everyone, it's Aaron James here and thank you for tuning back in for another episode of AJ's Guide to Awesome Lesson Beyond. Today is April 8, 2024. Today is the day that the moon crosses between the earth and the sun. And that will happen later from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And then the moon will obscure the image of the sun from the heavens and emit its shadow into the earth hence creating a total eclipse darkness at least that's what I've uh, researched about but anyway I'm excited I'm gonna document that rare occasion I'm headed to St. Thomas which is in the south south part of uh, Ontario it's another city I haven't been there yet where I live is in London City, here in Ontario. I'm going to St. Thomas. I'm going uh, to meet with a friend who's gonna, along with me, observe later's event as well. And I already, she told me that she already uh, have some uh, solar eclipse glasses for me. However, just for the sake of variety, I also made a uh, do-it-yourself DIY, do-it-yourself solar eclipse viewer from a cereal box following NASA's instruction and I think it, it's uh, working because I uh, tested it with a flashlight so I'm now headed to St. Thomas I'm uh, about to go to the uh, bus stop, bus station the commute will take around uh, 2 hours hopefully less than but I'm excited and maybe I'm gonna document other things uh, throughout the day Whew, that's a very long uh, intro so go ahead and grab your curiosity paddles as you embark with me in another ocean of adventure okay I got a bit lucky that the bus that the, that the bus passed by so maybe this is my solar, solar eclipse viewer this is the aluminum foil there's a hole uh, that's the hole where the sun sun's light is going to be projected inside the box now I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show it later but I will try my best okay so there's been a major change in plans unfortunately I will no longer push through with St. Thomas because the community bus that would take me from London City to St. Thomas would depart later at 3.30 p.m. will depart later at 3.30 p.m. which is already too late for the eclipse because the eclipse happens from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. and the travel from London City to St. Thomas takes about 50 minutes give or take depends on the traffic so instead what I'm gonna do is after I finish my uh, meal is that I'm gonna head back home head back to my place and then later at around uh, 2 o'clock head to a Masonville Park Mall parking lot and see uh, because from there I heard that uh, you can witness a partial solar eclipse so that is better than you know nothing and also I'm gonna do a little uh, food review so back in 1989 McDonald's released a uh, remix menu and then they revived that just just uh, a few days ago here in uh, McDonald's US and Canada they have another remix menu a homage to, to their 1980s uh, promo but right now, what I got is the chicken cheeseburger. They combine chicken patty and beef in one uh, hamburger. And then also would like to taste the sweet chili junior chicken. And we have this uh, unique uh, remix menu cup, limited edition, to savor the uh, the moment, the promo period. Shame, I thought that there would be like the uh, community bus, like a regular ro route that would uh, pass from the bus stop heading to uh, St. Thomas regularly by the, by, the, by the hour, but that's not the case. Okay, so uh, first I'm gonna... I'm gonna taste this uh, chicken cheeseburger. That's why it's remixed because they combine, you know, unusual uh, 
and usual uh, ingredients in a product. In this case, it's the chicken and the burger and the uh, beef. Love it. The chicken is crispy. And you know, the beef patty is the beef patty. You have a crunchy, uh, crunchy beef taste in it. I'm not really like a food review. Food reviewer connoisseur. So, yeah. Tastes good. I like it. the world famous McDonald's fries. Everybody knows how this tastes. Okay now let's give this a try the sweet chili junior chicken. Actually in McDonald's Canada's website you can uh, like compose a song for this uh, menu if you go to the McDonald's Canada's website they have a uh, software like uh, user, interf user interface there that allows you to like do a remix of whatever you think of the you can sing and then you can add some uh, music on it some some beat rhythm it's good okay so this is the sweet chili junior chicken No, there's a cake in it. It's okay. Not bad. Overall, I think I would give this uh, remix menu uh, 7.5 out of 10. Okay, I'm now here at the White Oaks Mall where I should be should have taken my bus. I should have taken a bus to uh, to St. Thomas, but that's not happening. So I'm going to take a ride back home. And uh, just uh, do my work and then later go to a Masonville mall parking lot where hopefully I get to experience the partial solar clips through my cereal box viewer okay we just like to to feature this shop called sunrise they still sell uh, Music, music uh, CDs. Definitely no more cassette tapes. I guess vinyls is the term for those. Yeah, they still sell CDs of your favorite artists. If you have a CD player in the age of streaming. They still manage to survive. <clears throat> yep, I just checked with the staff and they call these vinyls. So they have Rolling Stone, The Police. Oh man, old school. They also have some uh, DVDs and probably Blu-rays of uh, a variety of uh, movies. Like here, The Invisible Man, The Invisible Dragon. The classic monsters. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. And some TV shows as well. Okay, that's it. Okay, the sun is uh, finally out of it. Let's see what how it will go later in the afternoon. Okay, now I'm heading back to our home for a while. It's gonna work. And then uh, head out again. So my solar flare. Uh, Serial box viewer is working. The sun is out now, and uh, tested it a few moments ago. I can see the sun, the reflection of the sun, uh, the sun being projected inside the box. So hopefully later, when the eclipse happens, I can like 
document it on film. I'm out and about now. It's around uh, 2 2 or 4 p.m. And let's see. I uh, cannot look directly into the sun according to uh, medical experts from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. You know, because of you think it's safe, but it's not. It might damage the retina. If you're lucky, temporarily, if not permanently. So heading now, heading out now to uh, going now to uh, Masonville Mall's uh, parking lot. To see if there's people there observing the eclipse or what. Okay, I'm now here at the Masonville uh, Mall parking lot, and I'm testing this out. My uh, pinhole viewer. I think it's working. I see the. Uh, I can see something inside. Hopefully later I can, uh, when it's around 3 p.m., I get to show it on film. All right, I went ahead and uh, fixed something in my pinhole viewer, and I think I'm seeing something uh, interesting. Not sure if I can capture it in on camera, but uh, okay. So right now, okay. So right now it's getting warm, and it's a get. It's getting a bit. Uh, I know it's a bit dark, dim. Out, out, I'm I'm now uh, because I went home to fix something, so. I'm now outdoors and uh, we're gonna see now from this uh, from this uh, pinhole viewer. I think I saw something interesting when I took a peek. But I'll try again. Oh, oh yes, I see something. A partial eclipse, perhaps. Not sure if the camera. Oops, yeah. Yep. Not sure if that image, yeah, the sun. Mm hmm. Being projected from the pinhole. Yep. Well, I still feel a bit of bad that the. Uh, Commute to St. Thomas City failed, but apparently, for those who are uh, watching, uh, the London City has just opened a uh, line, a bus line, going from yeah London City, White Oak Mall to St. Thomas. It's the inter uh, inter community bus, intercity bus. So it just started right now, today, April 8, 2024, and. Uh, it runs from six Mondays to Saturdays. Uh, Monday weekends, it's from uh, weekdays. I mean, I mean, it's uh, from uh, six ten to ten thirty, ten twenty five a.m. And then there's a break, and then it resumes at three three p.m. or three twenty five p.m. until uh, until I for until I think it's still something about eight p.m. if I'm not mistaken. So I arrived uh, early uh, at uh, White Oak Mall at around uh, 11, uh, so I missed the bus basically. Yep, it would be nice to, uh, for me to go to a parking lot of Masonville Mall. There's probably like uh, some people there observing the, uh, this rare event. Whew. Walking towards there now. It's getting a bit warm. I just, I guess, I, got, I just got comfy with this uh, sweater and hoodie that I used to wear during the pre winter days. But uh, now it's getting warm. I probably transition to a shirt again and pants and shorts outdoors very, very soon. Oh yeah, partial eclipse. Not sure if the camera can catch. But I think so. Yes. Oh yes. 
You can see it. The projection of the sun. Okay, there are also some people outdoors for this rare occasion. On 3 p.m. It's getting a bit dark, dim. Yep, there it is again. Come on, focus here. Yeah. That image, small image. Like a smiling face. That's the sun. As of now, it's already 3.01 p.m. That's how it looks up in the sky, but I'm not gonna look up because I can't. I need to be safe. There it is, partial solar eclipse. Now, if I were in uh, St. Thomas, this would be a full solar eclipse, but you know, geography wise, and with what I happened, what, what I just learned this morning. I had to settle with what I can present for this vlog but I'm happy nonetheless because my pin viewer works I saw a, wonder, saw a wonderful lady back there lent me her uh, solar flare glasses so that I could uh, I could take a look at the sun so I did and uh, it's too bad it wouldn't work if I like Say try to uh, try to uh, take a try to film it. It wouldn't work according to uh, NASA. So I think I guess this pinhole viewer that I created was the best uh, alternative to show it in a different way. And there she is again, the magnificent sun projected on my pinhole viewer. Now, when I took when I took a look uh, a while ago, it was a bloody orange. It was like a red orange. Yep. Okay, that's still beautiful, nonetheless. Okay, sorry to focus. Okay, that's it. This might be a thumbnail as well. Yep. Notch. Not sure if the camera would do justice, but it's it, it that it's totally a dark. It became a bit darker than you know how it would normally be on a uh, three o'clock, three three o eight p.m. afternoon here in uh, London. There she is again, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, a partial solar eclipse. But you see, if it's in between the, if it's in, if it's, if I like let the the projection hit the cardboard itself, itself, it's turning orange. I mean, the orange is prevalent, but if it's under the paper surface, it's a white. Oh yeah, yeah yes, I I followed NASA's instruction, and uh, they I had to uh, mount a uh, piece of paper at the bottom of the cardboard. We made it here, the Masonville parking lot. You can see from afar, families, people, for a group of friends observing the event as well through their uh, NSO NASA approved solar glasses, which I wasn't able to buy, unfortunately. But I'm happy with my pinhole nonetheless, with my cereal box viewer. Yep, they, they there they are. And even on this side there is a few. <laughs> I just can't get enough. It's already a 313 partial solar eclipse. Damn, this would have been nice at the Saint Tom in Saint Thomas. 
Yep. Looking through a cereal box. Oh, nope, I can't capture the darkness <laughs> on film, sadly, but it's dark, trust me. It has become dark. Look at the lights from the background. Even look at the library. It lit. Because, you know, in Canada, when it's dark, the lights, out, the lights outdoors from, from most of uh, establishments, they, they emit light if it's dark. So look at the lights of the, at the Mason B Library. It suddenly emitted. Yep, that's how dark it is. Yeah, people are, are outdoors. I can hear them. Oh, look at that beauty. Oh my god, look at that. It's dark. Woo -hoo. It's like night time already. That's the sun. surroundings it's like night time nightfall has reared its head at around 3.18 p.m. April 8, I've also noticed that the temperature has suddenly dropped. Yeah, yeah not kidding. The temperature has, has dropped as well. Along with the dimness. Look at this uh, group of people mesmerizing at the sun. Yep, just last look at the sun before it goes back to normal yep there it is my partial solar eclipse experience and it's getting a uh, light light now i mean the the surrounding the environmental lights <laughs> is uh, slowly but surely going back to normal like how it should be at 3:22 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. I guess that's also good that I didn't wasn't able to buy a solar eclipse glasses because I created this and uh, it gave me a way, a unique way how to present the, my experience as well. So yep, no regrets. Although my regrets today, my regret today is I wasn't able to travel to uh, St. Thomas City where I would have experienced the full solar eclipse. Yep, and I think that's gonna do it for today. Still have plenty of tasks to fulfill when I get home. Just took a little break for this uh, rare uh, event phenomenon and I documented it with justice, I believe, using my trusty multi-grain cheerios view pinhole viewer 
And if you like this particular episode, please give it a big thumbs up as well. And please don't forget to sub subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you again in the next episode from Mason Bill Mall parking lot. I'll see you again in the next episode. Maybe in the next solar eclipse. Another time. Another place.